In this video, I'm going to teach you how to start programming the ESP32 microcontroller. Assuming you already have an ESP32 development board, the first thing you need to start programming the ESP32 is a toolchain. The easiest toolchain to get started programming microcontrollers with is Arduino. To set up the Arduino development environment, the first step is to point your browser to www.arduino.cc. From here, you will click Software, Downloads. Now select the appropriate version. I'm using Windows. On the next page, you can donate and download, or you can simply download. When the download dialog pops up, click Save. The download will take a little time to complete. Once it's finished, we can begin installation. Once the file is finished downloading, click the file to begin installation. You will be presented with dialog boxes where you accept terms, choose features to install, and installation location. Now that Arduino is installed, it's time to configure it to work with the ESP32 development board. Launch Arduino. Click File, Preferences, and select the text box, Additional Boards Manager URLs. Enter the text for the Boards Manager's URL found in the video description below. We can now close the Preferences. Click on Tools, Board, Boards Manager. Select the search bar and type ESP. An entry should appear for the ESP32. Install that board. Once that library has finished installing, when you click on Tools, Board, you should see new entries for the ESP series of microcontrollers. Now that you've installed the software for the ESP32 and Arduino, when you connect the board to your computer, it should be recognized. If everything worked as intended, we should now be able to compile and upload programs to our ESP32. Let's start with the basic example sketch Blink. This is a great place to start for testing the build chain and to see if you have a good connection to your MCU. When you click the upload button, the tool chain should begin doing its work. At the bottom you should see a window with orange text which is giving you compiler feedback information. Hopefully you don't have any warnings or errors. Now it's time to hold the program button on the ESP32. You have to hold the program button to begin uploading a sketch. When you see the compiler message upload complete, you know that your build was successful. Now simply press the reset button on your ESP32 and watch your program run. Congratulations, you've just programmed your first ESP32. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.